Hello there and welcome once again to Red Gaming Tech and yet more gaming news with myself, Amata, here on the 23rd of May. I have some news for you concerning SimCity as update 4.0 is due to go live this very day and will actually reintroduce many features disabled during the game's rather disastrous launch and um, will also usher in a few brand new features um, including a launch park which will be exclusive to early adopters as well as a new region by the name of Edgewater Bay which will in itself introduce seven new city sites and re-enabled features will include a dynamic global market prices, the reactivation of leaderboards in several regions, and the activation of region filters across all SimCity servers. So quite a nice little update, and there are some yet more update notes yet to come, so stay tuned. Um, as I said, it will be including the SimCity Launch Park, an exclusive new park just for dedicated fans who were early adopters. Uh, they already mentioned Edgewater Bay. Uh, your current server will now be shown in the options menu and there'll be more detailed rollover information on buildings telling players if their sims received happiness from a park or from shopping. Uh, previous to this fix, the information on this was rather generic and uh, as I mentioned earlier, a re-enabled feature in terms of global market prices will now dynamically change during gameplay. And as for the leaderboards, they will be active on EU West 3, Pacific 1 and Pacific 2 at the release and they will enable them on additional servers throughout the day. And as also previously mentioned, region filters are now enabled on all SimCity servers. Players will now be able to search for open games by map name, sandbox mode and abandoned cities. So that's pretty much it for the re-enabled features, but there's still yet more new additions and fixes yet to come. Uh, rain clouds fix an issue where some cities would not have rain clouds to replenish their water table. If you had a city with this issue, you will start seeing clouds again within a game day. Uh, fire, improved response time of fire trucks to fires, improved the time it takes for a fire signal to reach the fire station. Uh, mission updates, tune metals, HQ and community college missions. They were appearing too early, making them difficult to complete. They now appear later in the city's development. Uh, solar farm, a great work. Reduce fire risk at the solar farm, a great work. A local fire engines are spending too much time at the solar farm. Uh, and fix for messaging, improved prerequisite messaging for trade port, casino, smelting factory and oil refinery. It should be clearer on how to lock these buildings following this update. And there's also a fix for low wealth buildings flickering on NVIDIA graphics cards. So that's sort of some pretty nice news for all NVIDIA users out there. As for education, there's a fix for an issue some cities were experiencing where commuting students did not return from the neighbour city. This was causing a problem where students would disappear from a city in some cases. And tuning. Sims will lose a small amount of happiness if they don't have a place to shop. Cities without places to shop will see complaints and feel the effect of unhappy sims. This will emphasise the importance of commercial zones. So that's pretty much it for this update. It's nice to see the return of some of those um, disabled features, I'm sure. Obviously, the launch was a massive disaster area. That's not exactly a topic that needs to be discussed anymore, as it was discussed pretty much to death um, at the time it was actually happening. But it's nice to see that these features are finally making a return, and it's nice to see them actually still paying attention to this game. I mean, it did receive a battering in terms of PR and the amount of people who probably stopped playing it, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have a very active scene, because it very much does. Anyway, that's me done for this video. Thank you very much again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.